Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing from Penn National Racecourse, my hometown track, Grantville, Pennsylvania, on Tuesday evening, November the 15th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 this evening, folks, 8. 53 p.m. Eastern Post Time, six furlong sprint on the dirt. Phillies and mares, three years old, up race for a claiming prize of some $19,000. Contenders, number six, Super Queen, number eight, Oso Glittery, number five, Graceful Winds, and number one, Miss Noma. Number six, Super Queen, a 10 to 1 bomb on top this evening, folks. She's the pace profile leader in this claiming field, sprinting at tonight's distance of six furlongs on the dirt. Has turned in a quartet of power runs in her last five outings, hitting the board in the pair, including a power run win to break her maiden in her fifth race back. Number eight, oh, so glittery, a 4 to 1 shot, has produced a trio of power run performances in her respective last five outings including a power run place finish in her second race back, missing a circle trip in that race by just a photographed head at the wire. Race 8 summary, number 6, Super Queen, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 8, Oso Glittery, number 5, Graceful Winds, and number 1, Miss Noma, 6, 8, 5, 1, and the 8th from Penn National. Got some uh, bonus long shots for you to ponder. Parks Racing. Ben Salem, PA, still to me known as Philadelphia Park, race six, number three, Mr. Bad Guy, an eight to one shot. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class, nice overall speed for this five and a half for a long sprint. Finger Lakes race course, race two, the eight to one shot, number one, Maggie's Miracle, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five, including back to back power run wins in her third and fourth races back. So from Penn National on a Tuesday, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.